welcome to vlogmas day five so today i wanted to come to you guys with nine of my favorite most affordable zv1 accessories starting off with this beautiful king joy tripod when i tell y'all this is like my favorite favorite tripod i have another tripod but i definitely switched it out for this one for reference i'm 5 11 and this thing is as tall as me so one of the things that i do love about it is that it comes with a lot of different goodies to it and you can use it with a phone or you can use it with your camera so all of the items that i'm showing you all of the information will be in the description box below so um if you guys are interested in any of it you can just go there so as you can see it goes up and down as well as you can turn it around and it also like i said it also works very very well with the zv1 camera it's very sturdy um it comes with like a little clip piece that you can screw on and off to um, put on different devices and things like that it works seamlessly with whichever um, product you're using whether you're using the phone or if you're using the actual camera I like that it has these very secure locks where you can rotate it left and right and you can also um, rotate it up and down and then one of the best features is it actually comes with a little remote control and then also it gets so small um, when you collapse it that you can actually put it on your tabletop and you can use it as an overhead so the next thing that we're going to talk about is this Ulanzi light. Now I actually have not used this light yet, but I'm pretty um, excited about using it. It has about five different um, settings, five different light settings for it. And I really, really like this. I was trying it out and I'm like, oh man, this thing gets pretty bright, pretty, pretty bright. So I actually am interested in using this for like nighttime videos. So like if I'm out at night and I'm vlogging or even if I'm just like doing a vlog um, in my room and I just don't want to have the big light on, I can probably use this light. I probably should have tested this out, but that's going to be... That's definitely going to be on my bucket list of things to do because I actually have not used this light yet. It's actually been sitting in the box and it still has a charge. So that really says a lot because I've had it for quite a while. So it works. Um, You put it in like the little hot shoe part of the camera like where the little fuzzy part is. So you might want to get an extender for that. So this next thing, you guys, this is actually the mount. When I do all of my in-car videos, this is the mount that I use. It is very inexpensive and this thing is sturdy. It is small, so you would really think that it wouldn't do what it needs to do, but it actually definitely does. It comes with a lot of different parts to it, so I guess it could fit like different um, cameras or accessory pieces and things like that. But I just uh, primarily, I well, I only use it for my um, ZV1. As you can see, it rotates pretty well, and then the little screw part when you tighten it back up. It locks into place so that you don't have to worry about it moving or anything like that. I don't think that I've ever had it fall on me. Maybe once because I had it on for a while but without like checking on it. So this one right here is not super affordable. However, if it came with the camera, then it's pretty affordable. I purchased my ZV-1 off of Amazon and it actually came with a memory card as well as this um, grip. So for me... It was affordable because I didn't have to buy it separately. Now, it's a lot of other um, grips that you could use. A lot of other people, like they like to use the Ulanzi because it has a little bit more of an extension. That's something that I might um, end up investing in later on. But for now, this works for me. Um, I use it a lot um, when I'm at my desk. And then I also use it like when I'm out and things like that, if I'm like blogging. So I like that. You can stand it up like if you're out to eat and things like that. And it has pretty good rotation. So like if you needed to rotate it to a certain angle, um, you definitely would be able to do that. And it works seamlessly with your camera. So like you saw before, you could take pictures with it. You could do a movie with it. And then you can lock it, unlock it. And you also can um, adjust the focus, the background focus with it as well. So this little jewel, I would recommend, as soon as you get the ZV camera, get this as well. These are replacement batteries. So this comes with three of them. One is missing because it's actually in my camera. When I tell you guys, so my ZV-1 also came with the Sony battery, but that battery only lasts about 30 minutes. These, this battery, depending on how long you're actually going to use it, um, like if you have a lot of pictures, it could do up to 45 minutes of video, maybe even longer. Um, So also... 
this memory card I also got off of Amazon and it was fairly affordable like 40 something dollars or something like that but this is the exact one that I actually got off of Amazon and I definitely recommend it. So this is just like a little carrying compact case that um, I use like when I travel and things like that. Side note though, if you have like a case on it, like you know like the little bracket case thing that will be later on in the video, if you have like a bracket case, you're not going to be able to fit your ZV-1 in the compartment with the bracket case. You are going to have to um, detach it, but it's okay because you actually have space to actually detach it from the... Um, the ZV-1 so not not a big inconvenience but it's just something to think about and it fits for the grip and everything really well and it has like a little space where you can put a battery case or maybe like a little hot shoe or something like that so it's pretty convenient I like it and it's nice and soft on the inside so you know that your item is going to be protected as well as it, you don't have to worry about getting scratched or anything like that and in this case it's also waterproof so another thing that i have you guys is this um, protective glass now i have not used this yet this is another item that i have not used yet but i am going to y'all don't talk about me i'm going to so with this it comes with everything that you see it comes with instructions i really didn't know what that like ladybug and bee thing was but when i looked at the picture i guess it's like a little accessory part for it so if i guess if you need that you can use it this right here is the jewel of the video this right here is the bracket case um I'll, whatever the actual name is i just call it the bracket case for the zv1 it gives you a um, more space to hook up like little camera additions a little camera add-ons like the grip and things like that what i mainly use this for was to make sure that i could use my grip without having to detach it to switch out the battery so as you can see like if the grip was if the case wasn't on it and i was just trying to attach my grip where that screw is that's where my grip um screw will go and as you can see it definitely will be blocking the the space where you would put the battery in and then i will have to unscrew the grip in order to put the battery um to take the battery out and put the battery back in but with this case and I don't have to do that so I normally like to put it over farther to the side so that I make sure that I have enough space and the good thing is is with the King Joy um, adapter piece the little add-on piece that you screw into the um, camera so that you can put it on the mount that fits well um, on here as well especially if you put it all the way over to the right so you guys those are my nine items I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day six